What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to edit project description using WooCommerce WordPress plugin and Visual Model WordPress Teams. So here we have a completely customized project on WooCommerce and as you can see in the project description we have some fancy full widget images with effects and colors and here we have a normal project description so how to get a layout like that first of all go to our wordpress dashboard in plugin section and make sure that we have the woocommerce plugin and the bakery page builder plugin active and working just like all the Visual Moodle WordPress teams, clients and users have and already have created some products to your WooCommerce. We already have a guide explaining how to use WooCommerce plugin and I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. And here we have the project sort description and the product description. As you can see, there's only the native WordPress toolkit, so you can edit the test position and colors and something simple, but no columns, no options to add images or icons or other fancy stuff. So we're gonna need to enable the page builder to work in the Projects custom post type. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for another video explaining how to do that. So now, after the page builder enable, you're gonna see the buttons like the Gutenberg editor, the front end editor, and the back end editor. Let's start with the back end and add a section inside the section, a raw with three columns layout, and populate the project description. In the raw, we're gonna add a uh, full widget raw with no paddings just to get all the possible space. And this is what you have. Now we can fully edit and customize the project description so you can attract your potential consumers by creating fancy layouts that engage and combine call to actions and fancy images. In the raw settings editor, you can align your content to the middle and by clicking in the plus button, you can add another raw for more columns, layouts and more options. Just remembering that you can add any element that you want 
icons, content galleries, slider, widgets, gets, even blog posts or social sharing buttons. Everything that you can imagine, it's now possible by using the page builder inside the project description. Now, let's explore another possibility, the possibility to create the layout in the front-end page builder, so we can see the result immediately. Let's refresh the page and start from the beginning. The process is exactly the same to add elements and edit it, but now you can see the result without, without needs to refresh the page. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and I see you later, all the best!